fundraising funds on Wednesday at the Bohemia Room. Analogy will be raising funds on Thursday at Verbal Calligraphy. And Terry will be raising funds at Voices and Vibes also on Thursday. So you might not see all of us together often, but there's a base group of about 15 or 20 of us that have been going really hard for the past 10 years. Poetis is our freestyle queen. And anytime you need something said in a very fabulous and respectful way, she can take you to church if need be. Wherever you need to be, she can get you there. Let me put it like that. So um, she's going to share a piece that she's going to do right now oh, no. on the top of her head. Um, that's it. So put your hands together. Put your vibe, everybody. Put your hands together. And I won't turn back, no, I will go, I shall go, see what the end's gonna be. I said I open my mouth to the Lord, and I won't turn back, no, I will go, I shall go, see what the end's gonna be. But there were days when I couldn't go. And days when I didn't want to go. And days when I just thought it was too much work to go forward. And in that, on those days, I needed a little bit more of an earthly reflection or reminder of just how much I could do. And just how much I could be. And on those days, that's when I called Will. Because yeah. Will was that soldier for you when you couldn't be a soldier for yourself. And although I often pray to my God for heavenly help, every now and then he said, maybe you ought to call my son Will. Because Will made you feel like you could fight battles that you didn't even know you could fight. He made you know that you could stand and go not gently into any good night. Because, girl, you got skills. And, boy, you know you can write that poem in. All right, with a little more work, we're going to show you what you're working with. See, he was stage raging people all over this world. He was that incredible, inspirational force that just seemed to drive you. And you felt like you could do it after you talked to him. You felt like, maybe I should do it, after you talked to him. And he made me open my mind when I wanted to close it. And he made me show love when I felt others weren't worthy of it. He had an interesting kind of justice about him because you wanted to fear him and love him all at the same time. You wanted to get mad with him and not like what he said from the mic, but had to acknowledge he was telling the truth all at the same 